some people are married on paper but sworn enemies in real life I have got no understanding of the beginnings and the endings of that statement Zulu. <laughs> I have no clue let me tell you something the gist of this statement and what we are talking about there is to say that people are being transferring philosophy of marriage to us because they've been married for long yeah uh, uh, let me tell you something about older people yes. they assume they must teach you mm. Mm -hmm. it is their duty <laughs> in life <laughs> to pass on and we don't refute yeah. there's a place that experience counts yes having done it for longer mm -hmm. <laughs> gives you something to tell those who are coming in yes but i want to tell you another aspect in which marriage doesn't follow that rule okay there's another show i told you where in dating relationships <laughs> time is not always a proof. It is not. Uh, we established. <laughs> we <laughs> rubber stamped that. Don't use it anywhere. <laughs> Don't say, no, we've been dating for 10 mm -hmm. years. I can mm -hmm. tell you something about mm -hmm. the fact that you've been the person in a pending situation for those many years only says you're indecisive and lost and you don't understand the seasons of your life. <laughs> It's like saying, I booked that car five years ago and you know about it. No. It's not just, you just booked it. Means either you are reaching for things you can't afford, you don't know where you are, you <laughs> don't know what you want. Mm. <laughs> See, mm. You and the seller are equally confused. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 you're wrong. <laughs> and he's calling the other. Yes. <laughs> you're lost. Yes. All transactions are supposed to have a definitive ta target. Either we are doing or we are not doing. Yeah. <laughs> if it's a higher purchase, we know at what point it was transferred, mm. and what is more money you are paying me for the time I'm giving you. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. In higher purchase, you add cash is cheaper, yes. but if you want to hire as you purchase, that's the meaning. By the way, don't don't complicate it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so some people are higher purchasing yes. <laughs> the relationship yeah. without compensating for the mm. period of hire mm. <laughs> when you hire purchase you pay for the hire yes. and for the purchase yeah. <laughs> if you only purchase this is the cash price but in case <laughs> you want so, to hire another rule that does not follow that the longer you do it the better you become at it is marriage in this way marriage itself is a very the word has been abused used in the room context until the original intent has been obscured okay the original intent of marriage was when people become one flesh metaphorically to say as good as one they're so united they're as good as one all right okay. you don't graft my flesh and you put there no. so you become one flesh <laughs> you mm. were saying you can get children it's one mm. it's a team mm. and getting children sometimes biological yeah. but you're talking about how we build a home so united yes. that we are as good as one and i've given you several examples of how people test whether you're really one Mm. They call you to borrow money and they ask you not to inform your husband. Mm. They ask the husband from his side. I think mm. they, they are hoping that it will not get there. And I told you one way to counter without countering is yeah. they borrow you, send with his phone. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, just so you all know where it's coming from. You know? Yes. And when you see funny people trying to go around you, you interchange roles. Mm. You play those games once people leave you alone. Yeah. And as I told you, it's not the whole world that threatens you. No. The real people are trying to poke you, actually, just a few elements. And when you, when they, it becomes clear you don't tolerate vermin or yeah. pests or petty thieves, mm. <laughs> thieves of joy, <laughs> thieves of happiness, thieves mm. of... <laughs> once, once you, you don't need to throw many stones. You just hit one and all of them disperse. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a show where it is the, the female lions that go hunting. Mm -hmm. But it's the male lion that eats first. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> But the male lion has a very critical role. Mm -hmm. to protect yes. <laughs> to protect the family. And the way to protect, it amazed me because uh, hyenas come in big group and wild dogs. Yeah. Those are the enemies. Yes. They, they rely on their numbers mm -hmm. to harass and take away the food. Yeah. So when they realize the lioness has made a kill, mm -hmm. they come and they make noise, they make noise. <laughs> <laughs> they confused. Mm. They can bite, but they don't. It's not one on one. It's group. This one bites mm. here. The one bites there. Mm. <laughs> it's a harassment <laughs> until the lioness runs. But when, when the male ra lion shows up, does not to fight the whole group. It only roars, <sighs> and they disappear. <laughs> but if one of them is not aware, yes. a young hyena just a, who is not aware who is this, yeah. he crash with one <laughs> attack. Even the paw 
<laughs> yeah. It's enough. Mm. So he learned. So he uses this example. He illustrates just one of them. Sometimes in life you don't need to fight everybody. Just illustrate. One. <laughs> The others will leave, will leave you alone. So those, sometimes, not be too peaceful. Square with one relative who is particularly nosy. Yes. Because the others are watching behind whether this one will get in. <laughs> so they can also yeah, come. They can also come in. Yes. <laughs> yes. So you square with this one to send a message. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Us, this is boundary. <laughs> For me and my family, please, yeah. <laughs> excuse us this way. The other day I was telling my wife that all families have the potential to ruin marriage. If you don't have fences, emotional fence and gate, all families have the potential to ruin. Even when they are good people. The interference and conflict of interest that I was their child because I was before I was your partner, yeah. but they, are, they would like more help, more mm. availability, financial and otherwise, mm. and the same thing I need to, to do for my family. That mm. conflict of interest, even when we are good people, yeah. it's limited resources and we will have to fight. That fighting, you will lose because they have more claim over me. I was born to me, this is my friend. This yeah. is my son. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Be very careful with the families. It's only fences, boundaries, and safe regulation of availability. And playing wisely as a team. Wisely as a team. To know who is to go in front here. Then I take the road. Mm. Then I take the, we swap. We swap that way. Let me tell you. You remember the way g girls know how to play? Yes, 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 yes. Life, yes. life, that's life now. Which one to throw, which one to hold, not to hold yes. on to long. Uh, when you become when you become a team, there's a way now you you, you play and alternate yeah. and unless you know how to play that way, and it requires a lot of friendship. Mm? It requires a lot of ease mm. <laughs> to, mm. to jokingly say, Let me take this one. Yeah. Let me cover this one. How did yeah. it go? <laughs> so that you have your own conspiracy theories. <laughs> Oh, you are in games you play and you toy with the people's minds thinking they're playing you mm. and you enjoy it winning a score here when you're covering mm. up for each other that is a game that makes marriage fun <laughs> that makes it long lasting yeah when you have your own internal way of operations yeah. that the world can only guess mm. they don't know what you're up to that's true <laughs> you know yeah. and you enjoy surprising them <laughs> you know you enjoy catching them by surprise. Yes. And when people tell you don't tell anyone, your partner is not part of anyone. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. They don't count. <laughs> yes, this one is, 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 we are not telling anyone, okay? We. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, that statement of people who are marrying so enemies comes from people who came in the marriage without the understanding that you are supposed to become one. They married because of social image, because of financial pressure, because of, uh, I need to get married now. I need to settle, mm. settle, settle, mm. settle. And let me remind you that you're supposed to be settled even before you get married. Yes, sir. Do not be unsettled. <laughs> if you're unsettled, marriage will not settle you. Yep. I am... You have never settled, so which means I'm restless. Yeah. Am I floating? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look floating, Mekali. I don't. You don't look. Like I have an answer for the next one. Be very scared. <laughs> you know. Mm. Please understand. I am not half looking to be completed. No. Let's define marriage again. Yes. We are supposed to marry from a person who had their own vibrant life. You have your vibrant life. Yeah. We are coming together because we realize we are happier, more vibrant, more stronger. We are adding and we think our union will blossom us better. Mm. We wanted to share our essence with the one who is as richly endowed as us. I'm not coming to you because I'm lacking and deficient and unstable and unhappy and invalidated and insecure and crying and lacking. No. <laughs> Be careful. When you pour to leaking containers, you run out of content yourself. He said it. <laughs> hmm? You pour to leaking containers, leaking people, mm -hmm. empty people, yes, who yes. will run empty? I will. And they too will be empty because yes. they do not have capacity, infrastructure yeah. to hold. Let me tell you, one way to know that I can, you can actually make me happy is if I can make myself happy. I have the infrastructure to hold the fluidity of happiness. Positive things are fragile. Yeah. When you're happy, it's easier for somebody to poke and make you angry mm -hmm. than when you're angry for somebody to make you happy. Vices have the weight of gravity of this world. As I told you, it's easier mm -hmm. to do bad things. Yes. <laughs> it's easier to inflict a wound than to heal. Yeah. 
So when you are learned, when you have learned how to be happy, it is what tells me you have learned how to protect your happiness. Yeah. When you've paid your bills and remained afloat, so it has given you some economic sense mm. on how to postpone needs to start with what is most important. Yes. You don't eat pizza before you pay rent. No. <laughs> you, you, you start. <laughs> Tell boys not to marry boy girls mm -hmm. from their family, mother's home yes. because she only knows remote and yoga. Yeah. <laughs> and ma she doesn't never negotiated tokens. Doesn't mm -hmm. know the concept of talking to landlord. Mm -hmm. Does not understand why a cheaper house sometimes is good. Why? When you live alone, you realize what mom used to say: there is food at home. That statement now gains life. It makes a lot In of fact, sense. There now. is food at home. Yes. <laughs> Mom, buy me this. There is food, food at home. home. <laughs> and it would, be, it would not sit where we are. Never transport a person from that statement to your home. My friend. My friend. My friend. The mother had parenting authority. You don't have it. Yes. They will have a field day now. Now that you are calling yourself a lover, you give them everything. Don't dare. Get a person who has seen the world. And as I told you, some people live near the cities that it's more convenient to live with their parents as they do life. When you talk about living alone, I'm not just talking about physically where they sleep. I'm talking about are they doing life alone? They can be mm. going back home to their parents. Yes. But do they have a job? Do they have a life? Yes. Do they have things to negotiate through life? Yeah. <laughs> so in case I'm living in the city where it's more convenient for my children to go to work and come here, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean they're still in my hands. No. Are they still working? Are they making money? Are they buying? Are they negotiating? Are they handling lives? In fact, just look at the responsibilities they have at work. You will see whether they are mature or not. <laughs> look at how they have handled the people. Are people happy with them? Sometimes you need to see how people are handled, who they are under their power. Because mm. that's what you are contracting, my mm. friend. Mm. When people have power, that's when you see who they really are. Mm. When they are a junior, they are told around. Yes. How they harass them. Yes. How they command them. Mm. Why you end up with your enemies because you married for the wrong reasons, not for purposes for companionship and merging your souls out of the abundance, your mutual abundance isn't your separate happiness to enrich each other. You did not come because of that mindset. You came because of uh, me. I need to settle down. Me, I, I imagine I don't want to. Me, I want to get children, and I think uh, 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 all my friends are already married. Uh, uh, me, I think now I have a job. I need somebody. N And yet, are those the more frequent reasons? They are. <laughs> Very frequent. Those <laughs> are the reasons. <laughs> Your friends are getting married. I mean, you've also yeah. We have someone for you here. Yeah. Call this number. Go okay. with so and so. He's nice. Marriage material. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll remember you say, somebody can be wife material. Yes. But they're not the right fabric for you. All materials are not the same. They are same. not the same. Yes. Yes. The summer, nylon, uh, cotton, uh, velvet, polyester, uh, polyester, fake leather. Uh, 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 <laughs> and <then you> come back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so you need to realize that the first reason you end up with an enemy is because the why was wrong. So the what became inaccurate. Mm. <laughs> Let me remind you when they ask you who you are. Yes. In order to add yourself clarity, mix it with why am I? Yeah. <laughs> you get it very accurately. <laughs> After you say your name, say your purpose, you'll have answered who you are. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Oprah Winfrey likes to answer that question. She teaches girls a lot. And she's telling them, if you don't have a definition of who you are, the society will give you all manner of counterfeits. Yeah. In fact, they will substitute your, your name mm. with your roles. Mm. They will call you the mother of so-and-so, the wife of so-and-so. Mm -hmm. And that will become what covers you. Mm. I knew from a childhood that is wrong. I don't know how, but also uncomfortable. Yes. Even on social media, before I knew the psychology behind it. Yeah. I, uh, I would just feel uncomfortable. Somebody calls themselves so on, on Mama Ken, on social media. <laughs> Imagine I've never, <laughs> later on I realize it's a role. It's not who you are. Yes. Who you are is Mary Mikali. Keep that. Yeah. And I'm happy for you you do not adopt surname because surnames can vary with who is marrying you. Yeah. I always advise ladies, keep your two names because they are consistent through life. Yeah. Let other roles, role names, role oriented be used for the role context. Mm -hmm. When you're with other mothers, mm -hmm. this is Mama McGee, this is Mama Tony, this is mm -hmm. we are mothers here. This context is for Baba's mm -hmm. and so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, doctors. That's what we call it. Yes. But out here, let your identity be who and why. 
Okay. Oprah re repeats that, and I like that. She has awakened many girls to their identity. And because she keeps repeating, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. They may not look profound, but that's the anchor for your existence. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, don't cover yourself with roles. Don't be swallowed by roles. Play the roles happily, but yeah. they are not you. <laughs> <laughs> the social roles, they will be assigned chair lady of this chairman. <laughs> so one time, the, a person they were calling Mama So and So, the child they were naming her after died. And that confirmed to me I was right. So it was offensive now to call her that way, to remind her of yes. a child who died. Yeah. It was so difficult for even the public to, us to change yeah. how they call her because we don't know her name. Mm. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So it's to say one way you end up with an And I'll tell you how it works when you're married to an enemy. One thing, you've heard society saying, and you've heard these memes, and people share them, mm -hmm. that a calm boyfriend and a dramatic girlfriend goes so well. Yeah. Perfect combination. That's what they say. Brothers, don't need a dramatic girl. Life is dramatic enough. <laughs> don't marry psychos to come and rehabilitate them. No. And one thing I was afraid of is to end up with a woman who would throw plates at me when she's mm. angry. Even if you're pregnant, it's okay. We may not understand all the scientific things of pregnancy. But I'm praying that the pregnancy will not have a masquerade for demons. And you become another creature to torment us. Mm. Because, no, please. Sometimes emotional control is important. And many times, mm -hmm. uh, I asked one person whether pregnancy changes people's personality. So they are a different person when they're expecting, whether okay. they have seen those cases. She yeah. told me, unless you're in an underlying um, mental health problem okay. that is triggered. Okay. If but generally? She told me, generally, it's your weaknesses that I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is who you are? Exactly. It's not the hormones? It's just manifesting. Imagine. Oh, wow. She said, we have, I've never had a case of all my practice that a person who never used to yell is now yelling. Mm. It's only that they used to yell less frequently. Now the frequency has just increased. <laughs> so a person never used to character traits and generally consistent through life. There may be stressors that come with pregnancy. But if this person is generally a nice person, you, see, you still see the niceness. Even when they are expectant. What uh, pregnancy brings is two things. More emotional fluctuation and a permission to misbehave. So people think you know, they will understand. Mm. They will understand. Mm. <laughs> they don't put mm. their foot to control themselves. Mm. So that's one way of why people end up enemies. And you know they're enemies when people swallow notions of uh, poor self-control and they, they treat it as normal. Another place that if she keeps blocking and unblocking you, marry that psycho. She li really loves you. That's not love. That codependency, that emotional <laughs> poor self-regulation. And you see those memes trending and people <laughs> enjoying as if, and what people laugh, the joke they respond to holds truth about yes. their life. Yes. That is not true. Person who is blocking and unblocking, you're going to marry an enemy. Eventually, that same instability and inability to control their feelings will sh shroud everything they do. Sometimes, and I want you to be very careful when you're a sincere person, when children al arrive, it becomes so complicated because you don't want to tear them apart. Yeah. Every direction you take has difficulty. Yeah. Walking out would still be traumatic. Mm. Staying is still traumatic. Mm -hmm. Avoid marrying people who are unstable. One sign of instability, I repeat, I have... I can never block on my phone a person I love. Never. Never. I never did it. I will never do it. Block. Trrr, block. <laughs> a person you're married to. A person you're marrying. Either you or them is a psycho. Mm. You don't do that. First of all, if I don't want to talk, I'll simply tell you, give me time. That should be enough. That should be enough. If it's not enough and you call me 72 times, you have confirmed. You are not <laughs> a friend of your Now I'll block you with the permanence. If I block you, I usually don't unblo unblock. By the time I unblock you on phone, I've ruled you out in my life. So there's no point of blocking, and blocking, blocking, and blocking. Mm -mm. That is immaturity and is a sign. One day you'll be sworn enemies inside there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just know that. I do not tell you how the other reasons end up to being enemies. If you marry because of status, uh, I had one guy, ladies 
call her congratulating her friend that she married in a well of family. Yeah. My congratulations to you. You mm. married a family that's well off. Mm -hmm. I asked myself, what if they are well off and they're stingy? You know, you can be <laughs> broke <laughs> there and be stuck. <laughs> they have the money. You never have the money. But they don't give it to yes. you. Yes. Why do people assume just everybody has anything ready to give it away? No. Some of the people can give you best life. It's out of sacrificial giving. It's not mm. about abundance. I don't know why people think like that. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, Africa, Africa, Africa. Who bewitched my Africa? Who bewitched Africa? Oh, God. Look at the heart of the man you're marrying. Not the status of a family you're marrying mm. into. Yes, sir. Please. Look at the heart. This one guy is so nice. He's so admirable. Uh, he works and he gives his life, so uh, his wife, so much status and comfort. But she doesn't appreciate it. She's just a careless woman. Just it's other people who are seeing oh. how much effort he he puts. I think he's a vet. He works in one of those sectors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ordinary job, not extraordinary. Okay. <laughs> the yeah. normal entry level job group. Yeah. But how far he goes to get her this and the other and the other and the other? He's so generous, so kind. And he gives her the life that you, many girls appreciate. You know, yeah. what, what a healthy woman wants is in attentiveness, mm -hmm. availability, genuine support, somebody she can count on, somebody who works hard to provide the money we need. Money is part of what we need in life. Not, not lavishly, not, yeah. to, not impatiently demanding this we can't afford now, yeah. but we need a person who is progressively out there to make our life better, yeah. <laughs> to, get, to give us the facilities we need. Yeah. Some things change life, Mwikali. They are not luxury. They change life. Yes. If that guy got, gets his wife a washing machine, how much has changed in that girl's life? Mm. How much? That mm. the one thing has changed. Mm. And maybe the cost of that machine he can't afford it except he saves for four months. Yeah. But he targeted it. I don't want my wife bending this much. I don't like it. Now, no, let me try something else. So saving, saving, shopping, shopping, finally. How much has he changed her life? Yeah. With one machine that can last for years. Mm. For years. Mm. That's the man who had to save to buy it. <laughs> and he's loving, available. And we're not saying when you're wealthy, you're always bad. No. no. We're saying many people start somewhere and they grow slowly. So, the one thing, materialism. Marrying because of impatience, because of desperation, because of peer pressure. Because you need, your younger sister got married. Yep. <laughs> I need to choose well. <laughs> so, because of all these other reasons. Uh, and you know, uh, in my case, it was funny because... The, the, the younger two are married and going on the life. <laughs> and they have kids calling you uncle and you're not married. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It can get Pressure. awkward. <laughs> you're not serious. Yes. But although sometimes it's still disturbing, you have to answer a few questions here and there. Sometimes mm. they may be safe for doubt. Could I be? Could I be? Mm. But at the end of the day, I was reminded. When I rushed and did it now, I was still regret why I rushed. I'll do things by pace. I'll obey seasons. There's a time and, and my path is different. Where I'm going is not where they're going. That's true. Remind, with, remind yourself that with your family you only have... The real thing that connects you really is uh, accidents of ancestry. You, you, you happened to... Who <laughs> <laughs> calls them that, Zulu? <laughs> Who even... Let's, let's, let's narrow down. Let's remove the emotions. Accidents of what? <laughs> Accidents of ancestry. It happened that you share ancestors, and you know, none of you had the same application letters no. to become brother to uh, and sister to and cousin yeah. to the other. So once you narrow it there, <laughs> well, it, it's savage and dry, but it is factual. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, we did not apply. For sure, <laughs> so this is not what I signed up for. So nobody has an automatic authority over my life. No, because we share ancestry. Please. Mm. I wanted to get that home. Okay. That helps you. Yes. Because your uncle, auntie, I don't have any obligation to answer questions from you. The moment I become a grown-up to manage my life, yeah. I appreciate we share a name, but thank you. That's all. That's all. <laughs> we didn't meet somewhere and sign somewhere. Now we shall mm -hmm. work together as a team. Mm -mm. We are born there. We appreciate where we came from. Yeah. But where we are going is usually a very different story. Yes. So, 
We are only family if we are friends. For me, that's what, for me, family means friendship. <laughs> if we are not friends, we are only related. Yeah. We are not relating, we have no relationship. Mm. So if there's no relationship, no friendship, you can use the word family for purposes of social recognition. Uh, the family of so and so can start. <laughs> <They'll be here. laughs> That's about it. <laughs> the end. I told you of a family that entertained the whole country by publishing a funny obituary. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and the reason, that is to tell you most of the strife came when we mistook blood connection to real connection. Okay. And I used biology and chemistry to help you <laughs> distinguish yes. it. The yes. first one is biology and nature. Yes. Chemistry is we connect, we flow. Yeah. So I was telling you the second way, the first way is when you marry for all the external reasons. Mm. The second way is when you marry, you need to understand marriage from the underneath and what it means. Okay. From what it means. The third way when people end up with a person that you not have been with mm -hmm. is when you do not answer uh, the question of purpose. And so marriage for you is getting a person who is in some beautiful good shape. It is so influenced by romantic feelings that it ignores the substrata of papa's destiny direction the end goal yeah now this 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 as i told you maintaining romance is the icing yes the body of the cake yes is the layers of why mm. are we here yeah this is a birthday cake this is a so we are going to make it i want how many kilograms what kind of flavor what kind of flavor then the icing is what they do last and what they were doing in the body of the cake is what takes long to bake the purpose, the identity, why you're on earth is what takes long. Uh, somebody said, uh, a person who has a voice is unarguably, we all agree in the world. We, we're not just talking about physical voice. Yeah. A person who has the capacity to speak up, ability to speak up for themselves and express their mind yeah. is very powerful. Yes. That is universally agreed. Yes. But what we don't hear mentioned is that the search for that voice, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Can take very long, yeah. very frustrating search. Mm. Mikali, I want you to tour the jungle of this world looking for your voice first. <laughs> and eventually, there are some things God hid from you so that as you look for them, you find yeah. them. Yeah. Saul was not looking for kingship when he was anointed king. He was looking for donkeys. The, the donkeys of his father had gotten lost. <laughs> so he went looking for them. And known to him, on the previous day, God had told his prophet, tomorrow I'll send a man. What kind of sending is this? Looking for tankies. Some of the things you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> hey. you look for your donkey of identity. Yes. <laughs> donkey yes. of career. Mm. That's when you meet your destiny. That's when you meet your callings. That's when the movements and the hunger, the, the sendability of being sent mm. <laughs> to mm. go assist, mm. <laughs> to, to mm. do duties, to do only that we never meet at the same place and I would have confirmed to you that everybody met the meaning for their lives. Many times it was just David who was taking lunch, being sent by the father to take lunch to the brothers. It was Saul who was sent by the father to look for donkeys. Mm. They met the destinies when they were being in service, when they were looking for something that looks trivial, just lunch, just donkeys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to tell you that that reason we end up marrying our enemies and when I say enemies, it's not just person who beats you up physically. Some of your enemies don't quarrel you, don't make you cry, but they keep you in one place. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> they keep you in the place you did not belong. You were called to head that way. And then when you married them, the only consensus you could find is to operate in this environment. Don't do this big, don't do this, but don't go this far. So the biggest enemy is not one who beats you up. Sometimes when people beat you up, it's a blessing because they force you to leave. Mm. There are people who destroy your life because they don't outwardly mistreat you. Yeah. They behave like they are friendly so that you sit there for long. Many people who would have, would have become Mwikali's toast shows, who would have become governors. The reason we have a lot of corrupt politicians because the right politicians did not rise up. Yeah. <laughs> that is the truth. <laughs> you know, the, the people who have a heart to lead the country, they, not, they married wrong, they prioritized wrong things. Yeah. If you marry a person who is an enemy to your purpose, who is incompatible with what the, the nudgings you feel, the whisperings and the starings, and Mikali, you die when you marry an enemy, on your deathbed you know. You will die wondering, 
I wonder what could have been. Yeah. Miles Munro was told by God that the richest place in the world is the grave because that's where potentials that were never actualized are lying. Yeah. Books are never written, songs never sung. Mm. And I extrapolated backwards and I said, even now, the richest place is people's dormant capabilities. Those what they're taking to the graves. Yeah. And you know why? Because you're marrying people who come to cancel out the journey to your destiny. Oof. That was really powerful. <laughs> no, when you say enemies, it's not always swords. It's the people that you need when you're walking this journey of life. Exactly. But then they're not on that same journey with exactly. you. Exactly. For them, it's just to pull you down. And just to summarize this, never plug into dysfunctional philosophies and misleading advices of people who live fake lives. Sometimes you just have to figure out the life the two of you want and find your unique rhythm. You can partner with other people where necessity requires it, but when it comes to the juice of marriage and your unique chemistry, trust only yourselves. Mm. I like the dance that you talked about earlier, but you and your wife. <laughs> Thank you.